Theresa May's Brexit withdrawal deal rejected by the Parliament for the second time. Theresa May has been defeated in a second important vote in Parliament on her withdrawal agreement from the European Union. Have you visited our website? We have hundreds of updates regarding UK visa and immigrations. Also, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe now, and press the bell icon, to get the latest updates on your screens. A sum of 391 members of parliament chose not in favour of the deal, with 242 favouring the Theresa May. After the voting, Theresa May expressed tomorrow will see a dispute and vote on leaving the European Union with no a deal in position. Theresa May said the House that she deeply griefs the MP's assessment, adding that she was alert of the possible destruction that would be crafted by a Brexit with no deal and would request the Commons to vote contrary to doing so. The leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, stated, the House should come together with a plan that could be agreed, and Labour should put forward their own strategy once again. He also proposed, it may well be time for a general election. This newest loss for the government forms additional Brexit doubts and leave almost every imaginable result on the table with just weeks to go before the cut-off date that is 29th of March, 2019. Regardless of Theresa May's trips to Europe in an effort to make her deal more agreeable to members of the House and to pursue added promises on important matters, she has once again disappointed to get her deal endorsed by the House of Commons. The deal was refused mutually by the European Research Group ERG, guided by Jacob Rees-Mogg, and the Democratic Unionist Party the, the Tories' confidence and supply associates in government, without whom they would not be in control. Rees-Mogg expressed before the vote and stated, In the light of our private legitimate examination and others we do not praise taking the government's proposal today. The DAP announced an all-embracing assertion that claimed that satisfactory development has not been accomplished presently. If members of parliament conclude that a no-deal Brexit is not in the United Kingdom's greatest benefits, Theresa May approved, our next vote will be held on Thursday to settle down whether the United Kingdom have to demand a delay to the cut-off date from the European Union. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn before the vote, stated that Parliament was no longer eager to endure what he observed as Theresa May's postponing strategies. Mr Corbyn further stated, time and time again Theresa May has been unsuccessful to cooperate, declined to negotiation, and delayed and delayed. Past three months Theresa May has not accomplished one single modification to her deal, she is merely running down the clock.